Hi, I'm Olivia Weasler with the Star Herald, and this is Table Talk. Today I have some students from Gearing High School to talk about um, the musical coming up. Um, we have Kale Morris, Kenny Gable, Dominic Marostica, Dominic Marostica, White Soul, and Maddox Janacek. Janacek. Got it. Okay, and so I was just wondering if you could start off by you guys telling me a little bit about the play that you guys are doing this spring and um, what your characters are in that. Whoever would like to go first. Um, we are doing The Wizard of Oz, and I am the good witch slash, like, Auntie okay. Um, I'm Dorothy. I'm the Scarecrow. <laughs> I'm the Tin Man. I'm the Lion. Awesome. And you guys, this is, you were going to do this last year, correct? Yes. So what has it been like for you guys to transition from, you know, learning most of it last year and then doing it this year? Has it been different? Are you learning the same things? What has that been like? Um... We lost some seniors, so like Dominic's new, so he didn't learn it last year, um, and so is Kale. Um, but we tried to just kind of re-grip re on what we kind of knew, and then um, if something didn't work as well as it did last year, we kind of just switched it. Um, we're trying to keep it as close to or as similar as we can to last year, but, you know, making changes due to, like, different people. But it's been it's been okay. I think it's been like every other year or so. It's been nice because part of it's muscle memory because you remember a good majority of the stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, and so what are you guys like most looking forward to, you know, finally getting to perform this um, for the public, hopefully this year. So what are you guys most looking forward to? Um, I think I'm looking for, I think most of us are looking forward to something normal, like mm -hmm. finally doing something and like for the public and everyone to come watch and see us just perform and do our thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something for the community to come do. For sure. I think after, like, for us three especially, like, after doing it for two years, it'll just be fun to finally actually perform it. We've done so many rehearsals, like, getting ready for it, and I think finally being able to just, okay, this is what we've been doing, like, just be able to, like, showcase what we've been working on. For sure. And when are the performance dates? Um, April 15th, 16th, and 17th at 7. Okay. And when do your tickets go on sale? March 15th. March 15th? Awesome. Where can we get those? If we're um, you can get them at gearingschools.net, and there will be like a whole like musical section to find all of all the stuff that you need. Perfect. Awesome. Um, is there anything else that you guys want to add about how this year is going? How it's different from last year? Um, anything at all about the musical that you guys want to add? I mean, it's all just kind of the same: wearing masks, um, taking breaks as we need. But other than that, we try to keep it as it always has been because that's like the fun of musical so obviously staying safe but trying to keep it as normal as possible is kind of the goal of what we've been doing so far so and trying to have fun yeah <laughs> that's the whole reason we're doing this feels like we're a lot more like just ready to do it this year because we're kind of just already in the character because we don't have to relearn it mm -hmm. for sure so could you guys each tell me a little bit about your characters and what your favorite part is for um, playing them? Um, my character is kind of like a motherly figure. I feel like my favorite part is either the end, then like Dorothy comes back and we all just like celebrate or whatever, and she tells us about her journey along the way. But I also think that the Munchkins play a big role this year. I think it's really surprising and like fun to see the kids involved with high school. Mm -hmm. it's cool. So I'm Dorothy, so I'm obviously the girl that gets <laughs> like transported to a whole different world. But I think um, my favorite part is just having like so many different elements to the show. We have high schoolers, we have um, elementary kids, we have um, so much stuff happening at one time, which we've never really done. Um, it's really fun to get the little kids in because they're just so excited and they love it. And it kind of brings a little bit more like enthusiasm back because we, we get into the groove of just doing it over and over and over and over and over again. So mm -hmm. having kids come and be super excited to be there, like makes us kind of excited all over again. Like, okay, like, yeah, what we're doing is, you know, super fun. And um, their enthusiasm like definitely brings a different part um, and feel and element to the musical. So I'm super excited for people to see them because they're just so cute. So yeah. I think they're definitely my favorite part so far this year is having them be able to just come back and like finally be able to perform what they've been working on. For sure. Um, as the Scarecrow, I'm kind of the, the clumsier character out of all three of the main characters. The first character you actually meet 
from Oz that'll be with you for the whole story. So that kind of, I feel like that kind of sets the mood as to what we're going to meet along the way, how the how it's different from Kansas. Uh, my favorite part would probably be um, just getting to know new people through the musical, getting to meet new friends too. Yeah. Well, I'm the Tin Man, and as such, I kind of have to be stiff and squeaky at times. <laughs> I don't have to fall down nearly as much as the two of these guys, but I seem to be bursting into tears every other sentence. So you win some, you lose some. Yeah. But my favorite part has to be, well, having an axe because props are always fun, but also Toto. Toto is super <laughs> adorable this year, and thanks to Trinity for letting us use Maya this year. So that'll be fun. I think that's my favorite part, is, is Toto. Cool. Um, I'm the cowardly lion, so anytime there's any problem or anything, I'm usually the first one running away. <laughs> but it makes it fun, because I get to have a lot of the comedy relief lines and get to make most of the jokes, so that's pretty fun about it. Mm -hmm. And the favorite part about this year is I feel like we're all like we just meshed better this year. Like mm -hmm. we're getting along better as a cast this year. That's good. Um, and so, what is it like working with a real dog? Like, is it is he <laughs> is he trained or she trained? Um, so she's uh, tiny. Yeah. Um, she's like I don't know. Five months old. Yeah, five like the old, size of a Paul, like maybe. Ten pounds. Yeah, she's <laughs> very little. Um, so it's it's hard because she has to go with kind of everybody. So she definitely gets a little nervous. Um, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of fun. Um, I think it brings a different element to having a live dog instead of, you know, a stuffed animal. Um, she's getting better and better as rehearsals go on, so I think I think she'll be no problem. Um, but we're super grateful that the girl that is allowing us to have her comes to rehearsals and, you know, is there to help us out in case in case something happens. Mm -hmm. um, but it is fun. We definitely, like, we want a real dog, and it never kind of really happened until this year. So mm -hmm. being able to finally rehearse with one is definitely nerve-wracking, but I think it's fun. It brings a, like, fun element to, to musical, for sure. For sure. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for talking to me about the musical today. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Um, once again, this has been Table Talk, and I'm Olivia Weasley with the Star Herald, and these have been students from the Gearing High School Musical. Um, make sure to check it out. Thank you so much.